Good evening everybody and welcome to our carol service this evening. It's lovely to see you all. Uh, normally you're with us in church, but sadly due to uh, the coronavirus we're recording straight from the church and zooming out to you across the world. So please uh, sit back uh, and enjoy the familiar readings and uh, stand if you wish to sing the joyful uh, carols that we've picked this evening. And we start off by singing Once in Royal David City. Once in Royal David City stood a lonely cattle shed, where a mother laid her baby in a manger for his bed. Mary was that mother love. The Fall of Man, a reading from Genesis chapter 3. They heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze, and the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. He said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent tricked me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, Cursed are you among all animals, and among all wild creatures. Upon your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Prophecy of the Messiah's birth. A reading from Isaiah 9. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor. Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onwards and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh uh-huh. 
you, O Bethlehem of Ephrathah, who are one of the little clans, from you shall come forth for me one who is to rule in Israel, whose origin is from of old, from ancient days. Therefore he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labour has brought forth. Then the rest of his kindred shall return to the people of Israel. And he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they shall live secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Reading from Luke chapter 1, the birth of Jesus foretold. 
In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and will name him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be? Since I am a virgin, the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son and this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren for nothing will be impossible with god then mary said here i am the servant of the lord let it be with me according to your word then the angel departed from her this is the word of the lord thanks be to god Shall we sing out? Come on, sing out. birth of Jesus. A reading from Luke chapter 2. In those days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus 
that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. shepherds living in the fields keeping watch over their flock by night then an angel of the Lord stood before them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were terrified but the angel said to them do not be afraid for see I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people to you is born this day in the city of David a saviour who is the Messiah the Lord this will be a sign for you you will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favours. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
There was the prophecy of the Messiah's birth. God had a plan. The birth of Jesus was foretold, and he would be called the Son of the Most High. And all this happened. Jesus was born in a manger in the city of David, called Bethlehem. And so, we have good news. God calls us to accept him as a loving father. One of the truths of Christ is he allows us and wants us to be part of God's family. What a great reason to celebrate and be glad. Regardless of who our family are, mums, dads, brothers, sisters, we can know that we are brothers and sisters in Christ. The Incarnation represents the amazing fact that God became human and lived among us. The Word became flesh and lived among us and we have seen his glory. This happened so we can be released of our sin, be forgiven and have eternal life. God did this for us. When he sent Jesus, he made it so that we can be his beloved children. We are adopted into his family. This means more good news. We receive a lot of blessings. For one thing, we know that we will live with God in heaven one day. We also know his promises to place, give us a place in his kingdom. In addition to that, if we are all sons and daughters of God, that makes us brothers and sisters in Christ. It's like we're all part of God's big family. All we have to do is accept his love and adoption, and we can be with him and other believers in the family of God. Surely, that's pretty special and really good news. Because we are all in God's family, it's even more important to try to love and care for one another and share the good news with all. We should try this time at Christmas to thank God for his son Jesus. We should thank him for adopting us into his family and for loving us all equally. And we should pray that we can love each other as he loves us. Amen. Let us pray. Christ, born in a stable, give courage to all who are homeless. Jesus, Saviour, hear our prayer. Christ, for whom the angels sang, give the song of the kingdom to all who weep. Jesus, Saviour, hear our prayer. Christ, worshipped by the shepherds, give peace on earth to all who are oppressed. Jesus, Saviour, hear our prayer. Christ, before whom the wise men knelt, give humility and wisdom to all who govern. Jesus, Saviour, hear our prayer. Christ, whose radiance fill the lowly manger, give the glory of your resurrection to all who rest in you. Jesus, Saviour, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the Father, full of the Spirit, hear our prayer, receive our praises, fill our lives. Amen. And awaiting his coming in glory, 
as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.